Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.9 from the chapter number 3. Okay, so the problem is find all the prime implicants for the following boolean functions and determine which are essential. Okay, so first of all, we have to understand what is prime implicant. A prime implicant is those which are necessary to cover all the terms or all the one values in the map. In, in case of map, uh, we have to cover or we have to pair in such that suppose if there is a octet pair that means if 8 are combined okay we can combine for 4 by 4 map starting from 8 4 then 2 okay like that we have to pair it and we have to see which are essential essential prime implicants means those prime implicants that are covered by only one prime implicant. We will understand by solving this problem. Okay. So the first problem is f of w, x, y, z. Okay. We are given four input variables. Okay. And we are given with sum of min terms expression. So 0, 2, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have made the four variable map of this given boolean function. Now let us combine. So how can we combine? So this is one prime implicant. Then we will have this one is another prime implicant. Okay so another will be this one all the corner values okay these are all prime implicants then we can see that we can combine like this also okay now these are all prime implicants okay because suppose the all the four corner values this is one prime implicant okay then we have this one another this one is another prime implicant okay so we have covered all the one values now we have to find out the essential prime implicant okay so from here for finding out essential prime implicant we have to see that those prime implicants those values or those ones which are covered by only one prime implicant okay now we can see that this one and this one is the only in one prime implicant and this one and this one are not covered by any other prime implicant okay so this one and this one so this whole term will be one prime implicant so for this one we, what will what will be the expression we can see that for the second and the third row we have x here x and the second and third column we have z x z so this is one prime implicant now let us see this combination all the corner values this one and this one are covered by only this combination okay so this will be another prime implicant so from the first column and the fourth column we can get z bar okay and the, from the first and the fourth row we will get x bar x bar z bar now let us check if there is anything remaining so if we see this one it is covered by this combination as well as this one if we see this one if it is covered by this combination as well as this one okay so it has two combination that is covering this one okay and for all the remaining parts it have more than one combination so these are the only two prime implicants for this first problem in the second problem we have 0 2 3 0 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 then 8 9 10 11 okay 12 13 14 15 14 15 okay now how we can combine if we can combine eight of them is it possible no okay then we can combine like this this will be one combination or one club okay 
this will be another club all these four corners will be another club this will be another club is there anyone left okay we can also combine like this okay so this one is contained in only this combination so let us first of all find out this term from here we can get it is b bar then d bar so b bar d bar we got one prime implicant essence essential prime implicant okay so this is nothing but essential prime implicant these are all prime implicants whatever i have selected whatever i have uh, clubbed okay and this one is one prime implicant and let us see which one has only one this one this term this term has only this one is combined by only this club okay so let us write this club so it will be a bar b from this side and from this side we will get d a bar b d now let us see if anyone is left oh this one this one is combined for covered by only this term okay so for this term we will have a and from this side we'll get C A C. So these are the essential prime implicant of this given Boolean function. Okay. Now let us go to our third part of the problem. In the third part of the problem, we are given a sum of min terms expression. Okay, so we'll get 0, 1, 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, then 12, 13, 14, 15. So we can combine like this. Another combination will be this. So another one will be this one. So another will be this one, suppose. And another will be this one. I am just selecting all the possible combinations. Okay. We can also combine like this. We cannot combine inside a group. Suppose we cannot combine like this. We cannot combine like inside a four group club. We cannot combine two, two of them like that. Okay. We can combine these two with these two from another club. Okay. Unless we cannot combine like this or like this because it is already inside one club. Okay. So from here we cannot combine like this. Okay. Because it is already within one club okay now we can see that we have this one okay and another this one that are not combined by any other club from here we can find the essential prime implicant to be this term first of all this term okay from this term we have a c and for this one we have b c bar b c bar so these are the essential prime implicants here now let us go to our fourth part of the problem in the fourth part we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 then 12 13 14 15 okay now let us combine using four numbers Suppose this one is one, this one is another, okay. So we have another club here. So this is covered, this one is covered by like this. And this one is combined like this. This one will be another club. And now we can see that this one has only this club, belongs to only this club. So we can write it as x y x y comma for this one okay for this one what we can have it will be w y bar w y bar w y bar okay so these are the two essential prime implicants so these are the essential prime implicants of this boolean function now let us go to our fifth part of the problem in the fifth part we have 0 2 3 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 
ओके सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवेन टुएल्व थार्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन ओके सो हाउ यू कैन कम्बाइन यू कैन कम्बाइन लाइक दिस ओके एनादर वन इज दिस वन ओके सो एनादर वन उल बी दिस वन ओके यू कैन कम्बाइन लाइक दिस ऑल्सो ऑल्सो दिस ऑल्सो यू कैन कम्बाइन बट दिस वन एंड दिस वन कैन नॉट बी कम्बाइन उथ एनी वन ओके दिस वन एंड दिस वन दैट मीन्स इंटर क्लाब वी कैन कम्बाइन इथ और नॉट वी हैव टू चेक दैट सो दिस वन एंड दिस वन आर नॉट कम्बाइन इन विथ एनी अदर क्लाब एंड दिस वन एंड दिस वन सो दिस टू टर्म उल बी द एसेंशियल प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट दिस क्लाब उल बी वन एसेंशियल प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट एंड दिस क्लाब ओके ऑल द कॉर्नर्स उल बी एन अदर एसेंशियल प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट ओके सो फॉर दिस वन उल हैव बी then from this side we'll get d and for this term we'll get it is b bar and from this side we'll get d bar okay these are the two essential prime implicant now for the sixth part of the problem we have this given sum of in terms expression so we'll have 0 1 2 3 4 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. From here we can combine like this. One, this will be one club. Okay. And this will be another club. This will be another club. Okay. And. This will be another club. This will be another club. That means what what we have to keep in mind is that we cannot combine within a club. Suppose we cannot combine like this. This is already within a single club, or we cannot combine like this and this one. Okay, so the essential prime implicants will be this term is not contained in any other club. Okay, so this term will be x bar z bar. X bar, Z bar, and because from here it is X bar, and from this side, this two column we will get Z bar. Okay, then we have this term. This term, this one is not combined with any other club. Okay, so this term will be X, Y, Z, and this one. This one is not combined with any other club. Though it is a club, different club, but it is already inside a single club, so we cannot consider it here with another uh, club. Okay, so this one will be this term will be W Y bar, W Y bar. So this is the solution of the problem number three point nine from chapter number three. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.